Hello, my name is Suzanne Perrin. I am an independent and accredited art society lecturer specializing in Japanese history, art and culture. Today I am introducing Japanese prints from my collection. So we are looking at Japanese prints and some of the main themes. We start with Hokusai and landscape. Katsushika Hokusai, 1760 to 1849, the great master of 19th century woodblock printmaking. He made over 30,000 print designs in his long life, 90 years, over 200 books and albums and countless sketches, drawings, paintings and poems. He was obsessed with two subjects, Mount Fuji and the wave. In this beautiful and elegant print, we see Mount Fuji over the Tama River. Tama means jewel. Its snowy peak rising above the mists of the river as a couple of people pass by, two in a boat and one with a horse. It was one of the original prints in the first series of the 36 views of Mount Fuji, issued in 1830-31. And this was a seminal series focusing on landscape and Mount Fuji as the main subject. No one else had made a landscape print series before. This is a 20th century reprint from the original, where the woodblocks are recut and printed again in limited editions, which is why it looks fresh and crisp. The printing is clear and has delicate bokashi shading and an embossed surface, which one can see here at the bottom left, where the colors are shaded from the edges. The waves are carved throughout the river, giving a rippling effect of water. It is masterful in its simplicity and a beautiful print conveying calm and the eternal presence of Mount Fuji. Cities. Ando Hiroshige, 1797 to 1858. Night view of Saruwaka Machi in Edo, 1856. This is a famous view of Edo, number 90 of the 100 views of Edo, showing the theatre district at night. It is unusual as it shows two Western ideas, one point perspective and shadows from the moon, features one rarely sees in Japanese prints. The lowering sky is dark grey and sombre in this reprint from 1918. Ukiyo-e. Kitagawa Utamaro, Bijin writing a letter. His dates are 1753 to 1806. A beautiful courtesan writes a long letter in flowing script, the folding layers of paper scroll echoing the layers of her fine robes. Utamaro was the master of Bijinga, pictures of beauties, and here he captures an intimate moment as the courtesan whispers instructions to her maid, who is all ears. The courtesan turns her head over her shoulder in the Mikairi, looking back pose a convention often used in Japanese prints for interest. This is part of the ukiyo-e tradition of pictures of the floating or transient world of Edo, period. Edo was 1603 to 1868. This is the, a 20th century modern edition from the series 12 Hours of the Green Houses. Traveling. Tokuriki, Tomikichiro, 1902 to 1999. Traveling in Yui District, around 1960. This is an original print created in the 1960s depicting a traditional scene, a male traveler in Yui province on the Tokaido Road. The traveler turns his head, Mikai repose, to view Mount Fuji in the distance, while two other travelers point to Fuji from the cliff top on the left. The print has delicate bokashi shading in the sky and background, giving it the refined quality of earlier Japanese prints. Yui is in present-day Shizuoka, near Mount Fuji, which can be seen from the Shinkansen bullet train, the old Tokaido Road, as one passes by. Tokuriki was a 20th century print artist who worked in Kyoto, making many beautiful prints of traditional and modern Western themes. Another print on traveling. Toyokuni III, 1786 to 1864. Kabuki actor playing the wife Okaru. This is an original print from 1860 by the prolific artist Toyokuni III, also known as Kunisada. 
depicting a traveling scene in a kabuki play where the Onagata actor plays the wife, Okaru, who is being carried in a palanquin over rough territory, i.e. a long journey. Although the print itself is original, it is a cheap version with flat color and uneven registration, as many woodblocks were sold off to other publishers who reprinted cheaply made editions to make money. Gekko, 1859 to 1920. Hote crossing the river, 1887. This is an original print from 1887 by the artist Gekko from the series Gekko Zuihitsu, Essays of Gekko, and is created in the style of a delicate Chinese watercolor painting. It depicts Hote, one of the seven lucky gods, crossing the river with three small Chinese boys. He carries his large sack of good fortune on his back. He and the boys are laughing or singing prayers as they cross the river, and their feet are shown paddling in the water. It is a charming scene. Hiroshige, 1797 to 1858. Seba on the Kisokaido, 1836. When I first saw this print many years ago, I thought it was of a sunset, but in fact it is the moon that rises over the river in this tranquil scene of Seba, the 32nd of 69 stations on the Kisokaido Road, created by Hiroshige in 1836. The rich colors allude to the deepening shadows of evening as the two boatmen punt their laden barges away from the village in the distance and on to the next village before nightfall. This is a 20th century edition print of the series. Kunisada, Yui district on the Tokaido. This scene again from Yui province on the Tokaido road was by Kunisada, also known as Toyokuni III the same artist using slightly different name characters in 1850. This is a later edition re-strike print from the original woodblocks, so it is rather harsh in color and tone. A traveler walks by as village women hang out skeins of silk, possibly, or straw rope threads to dry. Hiroshige, 53 stations of the Tokaido, station one, Shinagawa, 1834. The Tokaido was the main eastern seaboard route linking the capital Kyoto with the administrative city of Edo, where the shogun resided. It started from Nihonbashi in central Edo, present-day Tokyo, and there were 53 stations or stops en route to Kyoto, the capital. This was the first stop south of Edo. It was around 500 kilometers between the two cities. A cortege of carriers walk by the stalls as women come out and try to get their custom. Shinagawa was a busy port of Edo, and boats are moored in the bay on the left-hand side. Hiroshige, 53 stations on the Takaido Station 2, Kawasaki, 1834. The second stop on the Tokaido was Kawasaki, seen here as a ferry crosses the river towards the town on the other side. It is a scene full of interest. Mount Fuji on the right is echoed in the shapes of the roofs and the houses and the fishing nets on the reed beds below. Passengers on the ferry boat smoke a pipe of imported tobacco in relaxation, while a group of people, a heavily laden horse and sedan chair passenger, patiently wait on the far side. We can see ahead into the town beyond with palisades surrounding it for protection. The bokashi shading is deep blue at the base, with pink and red bokashi denoting an evening sky. These were the preferred colors to denote time of day and atmosphere in landscape scenes in the ukiyo-e tradition. Weather. Tokuriki, King Kakuji in the rain, 1950. Tokuriki has depicted the famously bright Golden Pavilion, originally 1397, in Kyoto as a rather dull brown, enduring a heavy rainstorm. I like this because it looks like a watercolor painting. One can really feel the wetness of the rain and wind coming down in sheets across the lake in a squally shower. Hiroshige often depicted rain, snow, and mist in his prints, showing the different atmospherics of the seasons, 
as did Hokusai. Fan print, Fuji in fine weather by Hokusai from the 36 views of Mount Fuji. This print is a famous image of the red Fuji made into a fan. Many artists made special designs for fan prints for Uchiwa, like this one, or Sensu, the folding fans, as an artistic challenge to try to create a good design within an unusual format. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to Japanese prints. Suzanne Perrin, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>